In this video, we are going to learn how to make a bullet chart in Excel. Here, I have the percentage of marks of 15 students and I am going to create a bullet chart that indicates the class average performance and compare it to the targeted performance of the class. With the bullet chart, we can also indicate in what scale the actual class performance lies in. To create a bullet chart, I need the quantitative scale the achievement score and the target score. First of all, let's create the quantitative scale. If my class average is less than 40, it's poor. 40 to 60% is fair. 60 to 80% is good. And above 80% is excellent. And I'm going to indicate this range to create the bullet chart. Poor is the first 40%. Fair is the next 20%. Good is the next 20% and excellent is the final 20%. Now this must add up to 100. If we use the sum to add up the scale, it should give us 100%. Now let me delete this. Now we have created the performance scale. Now we'll calculate the achievement and create a target. So the achievement is going to be the actual class performance, which I can calculate by using the formula equal to average open bracket select all the marks close bracket and press enter this will give me the class average achieved which is 58 percent now my target performance is going to be 70 percentage now we have all we need to create a bullet chart the quantitative scale the achievement score and the target score with these we can now go ahead and create our bullet chart first select all these values now Go to insert, click on insert column or bar chart and select the second option which is stacked columns. Now my chart is created like this. Click on the chart, right click on the bars and select select data or you can choose the select data option under the design tab. Now select data source window opens. Here click on switch row and column and click OK. So our chart becomes a single stacked column chart. Now double click on the first segment of the bar, the series target. Now click on change chart type under the design tab and change chart type window will open. Here under the combo chart options, change the target chart to stacked line with markers chart. Now the first bar segment that is the series target has changed to a marker. Now click OK. Double click on the marker and under fill and line go to the option marker and select solid fill. Here you can change the color of the marker. Now under the same marker tab open marker options select built in and change the marker type to a dash. You can also increase the size of this dash. And under fill, you can change the color of the marker. And also select no line for a border. Now we are going to make changes to the bar segment achievement. For that, go to series options and select series achievement. Here go to series options and select secondary axis and increase the cap width to 500 percentage. Now let's delete the secondary axis. And now let's adjust the primary axis, double click the primary axis, go to axis options and change the maximum axis to 1.0. Now our axis is 0% to 100%. Now double click on the achievement series bar, go to fill, solid fill and select a dark color. 
and also select no line for the border. We're almost done. All we need to do is customize the performance scale. Double click on the first bar segment which is excellent. Click on fill, solid fill. I'm going to give a darker shade of green to indicate excellent. A lighter shade of green for good. Yellow for fair. And red for poor. Now go to series options and increase the cap width. Now our bullet chart is done. Let's add some finishing touches by including the axis titles and the data labels. Let's change the chart title to class average versus target. You can delete this x axis. Change the axis title to academic performance and the y axis title to percentage of marks. Now we can adjust the achievement bar by changing the data. Here, our achievement is at the scale poor. And if we increase the achievement score, our achievement has exceeded the target score. So this is how we make a bullet chart.